and welcome. My name is Dr. Calliope, and I'm going to be taking care of your head and face exam today. How are you doing today? I see. I hope by the time you leave this examination, you feel even just the littlest bit better. Now, let's get a couple of formalities out of the way. If you could just confirm your name and date of birth for me. Wonderful. And is that your preferred name? How do you like to be addressed? Excellent. So, this head and face examination is rather comprehensive in matters above the shoulders. So, we are going to be looking at the scalp, the head, the face, lymph nodes, we'll look at the muscles, a little bit of sensation testing. There's quite a bit going on here. Now for this examination, I am going to need to be touching you. Is that okay with you? I have your consent to do that. Wonderful. I would love to start with just getting a feel of your head, of the shape, looking at symmetry, looking for any lumps and bumps that should be there, and seeing if there are any that should not be there. So I'd like to start by getting a little closer. And we are just going to look at the general shape the size is appropriate for your stature, for your build. And we're looking at your features, for example. That the ears are of appropriate size and in the right place. That the eyes are as well, the nose, the mouth. And are there any places here that are painful or tender as I am palpating the contours of the skull? Wonderful. Do let me know if there are. So all of our landmarks in the right place. We have our occipital ridge back here. We have nice contours of the temporal bone, the sphenoid, parietal. down the cervical vertebrae all the way to D1 here that first large bump or notch, if you will the base of the neck okay wonderful so I am going to grab a little comb here and we're going to work on your scalp and hair examination. First, I just want to run through your hair and make sure that I'm not going to be pulling on any tangles knots. And I'll do it afterwards as well so that I'm not letting you leave with 
some crazy hair. There we go. Your hair is already rather easy to detangle. It's not too windy out there yet. Spot of construction, spot of traffic, but Rather violent storm on the horizon, I hear. But nothing too much to worry about. We've got a nice big solid basement here at the office, so whatever happens, we will be just fine. Good. So I am going to be using my little comb here, more specifically the pick end, and we're going to be looking at the hairline and the skin of the head. you had any issues with changes in the scalp oil level or itching, dryness, flaking, scaliness? just going to part the hair here. Smooth this down. And let's take a look. Good, and then a little bit more. going through little sections. And just doing a little look around. Okay, last section. And is any of this irritating at all to the scalp?
us over Let me put that back. There. Now, I did make that a bit of a mess, but as promised, let's smooth that back out. I'm just going to take a little peek at the hair itself. So I'm going to take a few strands here. And I'm going to run my fingers through. And look for any signs of alopecia. Okay, and I'm going to test the hair strength. I'll just wind it around my finger and pull a few times on the strand. Wind it around my finger. Pull. This one here. Wind it. Pull. Good. So just like this and pulling. Has good strength to it. Now we are going to come in to the face here. I'm gonna get real close, closer than I was, and we're gonna look. But in here, instead of just the general features, we are going to look at the skin a little bit more. So, I'm just taking a general, general look here. And then I'm going to bring out a magnifying glass that will allow me to see textural differences and inconsistencies much easier. Breaks of acne, rosacea, hyperpigmentation, itching, scaling, flaking, things of that nature. No, wonderful. Good year. Just looking and making sure. The skin itself 
looks healthy. It doesn't look like we have a compromise barrier, for example. Overly red, and it's not really reacting to my touch either. Good. Okay. Very good. So let's move on to checking out your sinus cavities now. We're getting into that time of year where the sinuses can be a little touchy, yeah? A little bit. So I'm going to be pressing on the frontal, ethmoid, and maxillary sinuses, and then we'll bring a little direct percussion in there. Do let me know if there's any pain or tenderness, if we might be dealing with any sort of inflammation or any sort of infection. So I'm going to press, press, press along the forehead. nose for the ethmoid sinuses and the maxillary by the maxilla right and then we'll bring in some direct percussion along here. Any pain or tenderness at all? Okay. How about here? Good. And here. muscles and the temporomandibular joint here. So I am going to be palpating the masseter here. And if I could have you just open and close your mouth to start. We're going to look at the joint first. So if I could have you open, close, Close, open, and close. Good. And did you feel any sort of pain or restriction with that movement? Okay. I didn't hear any clicking or anything like that. So if I could have you clench the jaw, unclench, clench. Unclench. Okay. And up to the temporalis here. I can have you clench the jaw. Unclench. Clench. Unclench. Clench. And unclench. How was that? I'm going to move to checking the lymph nodes real quick. So we're going to start at the occiput. And then move to the post-auricular nodes behind the ear. And the pre-auricular nodes in front of the ear. 
submental and submandibular nodes underneath the jaw. and posterior cervical nodes in the neck. And the supraclavicular nodes above the clavicle here. Okay, very good. do a bit of sensation testing. I have a cotton bud and a toothpick here. And this is going to be our soft touch. This is going to be our sharp touch. I'm going to test these on the jaw here so you know what those feel like. So, I am just going to have you tell me whether you feel the soft or the sharp touch. So, let's start. Soft. Soft. Sharp, soft, soft, sharp, sharp, sharp. Soft. Soft. <laughs> Sharp. Good. Soft. Wonderful. So, for the face, it looks like we have ticked all our boxes. And now, I am going to take a peek at your eyes. So, I'm going to bring a pen light in. It is quite bright, I do apologize. And I'm just going to have you look at my nose. I am going to look at the pupillary response. We want the pupils to be equal, round, and reactive to the light. Good. Good. There we go. All right. So I want to test your eyes' ability to move in the cardinal directions of gaze. If I could have you just focus your eyes on this light, using only your eyes, without moving your head, I'd like you to just follow this light. I'm going to go to the side, the side, the side, Side, good, and up, and down, up, down, up, down, good, and diagonally up, diagonally down, diagonally down, diagonally up, 
Diagonally down, diagonally down, diagonally up. Good, and we're going to come in and out. If I could just have you keep your focus on the light. In and out. In out. In out. Out. And keep focusing here. I'd like to test your peripheral fields a little bit. I'm going to do a couple of tests with that. Firstly, if I could have you just focus on my nose here, and I'm just going to have you tell me when you see my fingers wiggle, all right? Focus on my nose. Tell me when you see my fingers wiggle. Mm-hmm. Good. Mm hmm Yes. Mm hmm Go ahead. Yep. Mm hmm Mm hmm Go ahead. Yep. Mm hmm Mm hmm Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Now, I'm going to have you cover this eye. I'm going to cover the same eye here, and I'm going to bring my fingers in, and I just want you to tell me when you see them, all right? Just tell me when you see them. There. Good. 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 Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Good. Now, if I could have you just switch here. You cover this eye. I cover this one. Just tell me when you see my fingers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Good. Good. Okay, so peripheral fields look good. I think we're going to move on from the eyes instead move on to the ears. I would like to have just a smidge of a look real quick. I got a bit of a peek when we were looking at the head and the scalp. But I wasn't so much looking at the ear as more as in front of it and behind it. at the ear itself and this ear as well so in addition to looking at the structures here we have the lobe up to the helix the tragus 
Ante Dragus. Concha in the middle there. Ante Helix, Triangular Fossa. With the otoscope. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm gonna take a little look. I'm gonna pull the ear up and back in order to straighten out the ear canal. And look at the other ear. And take the otoscope out of the ear. And have you had any difficulties with your hearing as of late? Wonderful. And have you had a formal hearing test? Or perforation. Any 
Have you had any problems with your nose, with feeling congested, itchy, post-nasal drip, anything of that sort? Good. I'm going to do a little breathing test. I'm going to hold one side of your nose. I'm going to have you take a few breaths. Hold this side. You can take a deep breath in. And out, or rather through the nose, and out, there we go, deep breath in, and out, good, and other side, deep breath in, and out, Deep breath in, and out. Deep breath in, and out. Good. And did that feel difficult at all? Did you feel short of breath, lightheaded? Okay, good. Let's take a peek inside of the mouth. I'm going to use this to just pull the mouth open a little wider or direct the tongue where I need it to be. I could just have you open the mouth. And we can look at the buccal mucosa and the teeth salivary glands Good. right down in here if I could have you lift your tongue to the roof of your mouth please good okay that looks good good coloring there And the teeth so far, I'm not seeing any signs of caries. And the gums look good, no receding, no bleeding, no wounds. Okay, good. And if I could have you stick out your tongue and try to lay it flat as best as you can. Kind of stretch it out. And if I could have you just say, ah, for me. Good. Uvula is midline and responsive. And taking a look at the throat here. Looking for cobblestoning on the wall of the throat. Looking for irritation. Maybe the tonsils, if they're, they've got anything goofy going on. Good. It's all clear. Tissue looks clear, as well as the color. Okay. Have you had any issues with your sense of taste or smell? Okay. Any trouble swallowing at all? All right, and any feeling of irritation or pain in the throat? No, just going to feel along the outside here. Feel that the trachea is midline. And we already checked if there were any swollen lymph nodes. Lastly, we're going to check a few cranial nerves. 
So first we're going to do the hypoglossal, which is number 12. So I'm going to have you stick out your tongue for me. Good. And if you could go to the left, your left, the right, and up, down. Good. You can put your tongue back in your mouth. Now for the facial nerve. I'm going to have you raise your eyebrows, scrunch them down, close the eyes really tight, puff out the cheeks, good, smile real big, and as best as you can on cue, frown. <laughs> that one always feels goofy, huh? Last one, we're going to do the accessory nerve. So I am going to just have you raise your shoulders and lower them. Raise, lower, raise, lower. And I'm going to press down on your shoulders. I'd like you to push up against me. It. And I'm going to have you hike them up. I'm going to try to press down. I want you to resist me. Hike them up. And I'm going to try to press it down. Good. Okay. So, that is going to conclude our head and face examination. Do you have any questions at all? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. And that'll be the end of it. So, I did make sure that your hair is all combed out. It isn't a mess, but you're more than welcome to stop by the bathroom mirror if you don't believe me, but that's all taken care of. Everything else should be good. You don't need to check out at the counter. You can just go ahead and go on your merry way. Try to miss the storm that's brewing. It's supposed to be pretty nasty, but I imagine it'll be quite beautiful with a cup of tea and a nice heavy blanket. So I'd like to thank you so much for coming in to receive this examination. I hope you have a whale of a day and a good rest of your night. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, it would greatly help me out if you clicked the like button and left a comment so YouTube's algorithm registers that it was a good video. If you want to see more of my work, consider subscribing to the channel. I create primarily medical pseudoscience slash alternative medicine and personal attention ASMR role plays. But I've done a little bit of everything from historical to sci-fi to fantasy. If you'd like to support the channel, I offer ad-free videos, early access on videos, exclusive content on Patreon, or I also have a Ko-Fi link for a one-time donation, or a thrown wish list for props and equipment. Thank you again, and I hope you have a whale of a day, and a good rest of your night.